Chris VA Travels here at Colonial Williamsburg using my season pass and I'm going to visit the Governor's Palace so kind of a big one today it's Monday I actually took off work to come uh, I thought it wouldn't be that crowded uh, but yeah already a lot of people here kind of worried about flying my drone but uh yeah I'll see if I can get it in anyway yeah check this place out the palace green leading into town and here it is governor's palace most prestigious building in virginia early 1700s and it's the og it's the first of its kind of the big brick georgian mansions that you see littered up and down the rivers on, on the eastern part of virginia and yeah it's uh, got all the amenities a hipped roof cupola on top widow's wall a couple of interior chimneys and all the outbuildings that you would expect and yeah, to give you the quick history, work started on this thing 1706, completed 1722, but Governor Spotswood moved in 1711, and he was one of the designers. Uh, so seven royal governors lived inside. That would include Governor Botetide, Governor Falkir, Governor Dinwiddie, uh, up to uh, Lord Dunmore, and then two Virginia governors, uh, first Patrick Henry and then Thomas Jefferson. And another interesting note, right before it burned down, George Washington had used it as a hospital after, after the Battle of Yorktown. So, pretty regal looking gate right here. I'll come up and check this out. I'll see a unicorn and the lion. The famous uh, English crest, a British crest. And pretty cool crown at the top of the gate. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and take the tour before it gets too crowded. to a quick lecture about the history of the house it was time for the tour first we're welcomed into the main hall which you'll see is decorated like an arsenal pretty impressive display of swords and muskets that were intended to show the crown strength they were meant for show but could be used in battle if need be next stop would be upstairs and a tour of the bedrooms Pretty cool arches on the door. Obviously, baby carriage. Yeah, 
these muskets were used during the French and Indian War. And this is all walnut paneling, pine flooring. That's pretty cool, the English crest up there. A couple surrounded by broadswords. Okay, obviously the dining room. What about it? Yeah, a lot of marble you'll see. Quite a spread. Pantry over there. Writing desk, a bird cage. Is that it's supposed to be Patrick Henry's glasses over there? Pretty interesting. Canary cage. Oh wow, okay, the ballroom. Oh, they've got King Charles II covered up. <laughs> oh, wow. King George's crest up there. And this would be a warming machine. There he is, King George, Queen Charlotte. seal up there King George seal uh, the unicorn would represent Scotland the lion England and it's thought that unicorn is the only creature that can kill a lion Ooh. you'll see the Flemish bond brickwork with the burnt headers rub brick surrounding the door okay you see they're probably gonna have something growing in there more flowers I would guess walk over here and get a good shot of the back oh you'll see the Latin GR for King George the third at the very top oh and to tell you after this place burned down a couple of the outbuildings still stood uh, until the Civil War when they were taken down used to scrap by the Confederate Army and at one point uh, CNO line railroad line ran through here a temporary line while the main line was being built so that's pretty interesting and then, of course, early 1930s, this recreation was built. Funded by John D. Rockefeller Jr. And it was based on patterns uh, that had been drawn by Thomas Jefferson uh, because before it had burned, he was planning on doing some restorations. So that's the history of the building. Okay. Yeah. Everything's in bloom, looking good. All right, gonna head on up. Take a look at some of these outbuildings. Quick fact, Lord Dunmore was actually of Stuart ancestry. So uh, yeah, a little bit of nobility. Looks like they burned something here. Old cart over there. 
Oh yeah, it looks like those uh, were used for lighting the way. Virginia Road Wagon built circa 1800 for the Carpenter family of Rapidan. Let's see what's over here. Looks like some horse stables with a chimney. Keep the horses warm, I guess. And uh, you see they got it ventilated. Uh, you can't walk in here, but yeah, these are pretty, uh, pretty nice horse stables. See the troughs there? Okay, and you see they stick their head out the window. They can be fed. And some lanterns up there. Oh yeah, you see the uh, kind of nails used for the uh, joints. They're not nails, they're like little big wooden stakes, I guess, kind of. <clears throat> see what's over here, probably a carriage house. And there was a second floor, probably used for storage. And some pretty cool old wooden, uh, yeah, you see how they would lift the stuff up there with that little kind of crane hook thing. place where they uh, give little presentations I guess looks to me like it was a uh, carriage house at one time and there's an upstairs okay they're in there taking the tour obviously a well this is now used as a bathroom but uh, I bet it was probably a smokehouse at one time And just a few more odd uh, outbuildings. Uh, this takes you into a, a, more of a kind of a private garden. Walk around here. <coughs> Okay, yeah, it just takes you back to the main garden. You'll see the burnt bricks around the windows and then the classic Flemish bond brickwork with the burnt ends. And yeah, they would put a glisten uh, on the ends of the bricks so far away, this would have a kind of a, a shimmer, shimmering look to it. So. Sellers, huh? Oh yeah, I need to check out the kitchen. Feels good down here. Oh, this is where they kept the good stuff.
There's a bunch of hogsheads down here. It's quite a door right there. I think a lot of people don't know about that. Here's a well, a little port barrel right there. The larder. A larder is a food storage building typically used to store game and aged meat. Huh, first time I've seen a larder. Ah, oh, shade feels good. The salt house. I don't think this needs too much of an explanation, but see a trough over here. See what this is? Smokehouse, probably. Yeah. Oh yeah, strong ash smell. And this is where all the smoking went down. Oh yeah, this breeze feels good. Like I said, there's a lot of people. In, a box? Okay. In, in the morning or in the afternoon? Kind of a storage room here for the kitchen. Congo green. Oh yeah, always got the fire going. Supper. Breakfast is always going to be leftovers from yesterday's dinner. Oh. That's how we're eating. So you get your main warm meal at 2 o'clock. That's when we're going to have dinner because lunch is not existent. So that dinner consists of three courses. The first course is your heavy course. So you'll um, get items like, uh, did you guys check out the smokehouse? You saw those big pieces of meat up in there? Uh, those are Virginia ham. So you'll get uh, meats like that on your first course. You'll get things like a whole roasted turkey or a big old roasted rump of beef. Other good items for your second course, guys, are going to be things like salad, things like omelets, scrambled eggs. Then after your second course, you'll get to these items down here. Those right there are going to be your light palate cleansing items that you dessert the table. So that is our dessert course. But those are only going to be, you'll get something like gingerbread um, to go along with your uh, squab or your rabbit on that second course. And then your third course. Herb garden out here. And that's pretty neat. The lady out there picking radishes. Let's walk down, take a look at this cabbage. Some rebar looks like over there. Okay, we're on the other side of the pond. Uh, pretty narrow. I think I found it. Is it right here, maybe? Uh, they should have a statue here. I am a tricky little boy. Oh, 
That's it. I completed the maze. All right. Yeah. That was yeah. next level cheating. I've never seen that. Uh, oh, I couldn't see. I was just trying to get full oh, cool, cool okay, footage. Okay. Yeah. Come down, take a look at this murky pond. I see some ducks. You'll see the seashell gravel. Relaxing place to sit down. One last building I almost missed, and this is the scullery. This is kind of like a uh, back kitchen where they did all the dirty work. They washed dishes, uh, plucked chickens, what kind of the preparatory, uh, preparatory work. Huh. wonder what that is exactly. Um, I can imagine a big old stew being uh, cooked right there. Cool, all right, well that's the scullery. I think I'm gonna get out of here. That's the Governor's Palace, Colonial Williamsburg. I'd say uh, one of the top three houses I visited in Virginia, definitely a must see, so see ya.